Hi, my name is Chris Dancy. You are here in my office in Roseville, California, where I am a licensed marriage and family therapist. And this is Two Minute Therapy, where I discuss topics that I go over with my clients here in office, but I do it in a two minute format to keep it nice and condensed and save you some time. So today we're gonna to discuss best practices for trauma. And I'm gonna start by saying there are so many ways to treat trauma, and I'm only doing this in two minutes. So bear with me, I'm gonna just hit the highlights and I'm gonna go ahead and start my time now. First, let me start by saying, if you haven't seen my old two minute video, what is trauma? Please start there. This is gonna be a whole lot clearer uh, because what we covered over there is that trauma is actually a neurological bodily somatic experience. We need to do things that get at the body and the neurology simultaneously. Talking alone isn't in my opinion enough to treat trauma effectively. Let's talk about how we can do that at home. So first at home, one of the ways you can do that is actually through yoga. Yoga has been clinically proven to help with emotional regulation, to help with respiration, to help with a lot of the symptoms that we have of PTSD and trauma. It has been extensively researched and it is well proven. Another one we can do is called mindfulness. Mindfulness is a certain branch of meditation that has been scientifically researched. If you'd like to do more reading about this, my author that I recommend to you is John Cabot Zinn. But if you Google it, there is a lot of information on mindfulness. Mindfulness has been clinically proven in as little six to eight weeks of practice to increase the gray area of your brain that's responsible for emotional regulation um, and also decrease the parts of your brain that are responsible for that emotional reactivity, the anxiety, the anger. So all the way around win-win. Let's pause before we get to the office part and talk a little bit about meds. Disclaimer, therapists do not prescribe meds. That is not my role, but I want to talk about it because I sometimes work in tandem with doctors. And so I have some experience in working with the traumatized clients in my office that have also been taking medication to manage symptoms. My personal perspective is that med medication management is a good short-term solution for some clients. It's a bad idea for others. That's between you and your doctor. But what I will say is medication really works at the symptom level of trauma. It helps with the regulation of things like anxiety, but it doesn't get at the neurological causes of trauma. At its core, trauma is kind of a problem of time. Your brain hasn't figured out that the past is the past, the present is the present, the future is the future. It's mushing it all together and medication alone isn't going to solve that. So it's a good place to to start. It's a good short-term solution. It is not a long-term cure for trauma. Finally, that gets me to in the office. I'm going to give you the link below so that you can do more reading on this on your own, but I personally believe that EMDR is the gold standard for treatment of trauma. Clinically, it's been shown somewhere between 85 and 87% are cured with as little as three sessions. Again, you can read more about that on your own. It helps your brain reprocess the past and the past and the future and the future. It is quick and effective, and it's my uh, method of choice along with a few other tricks that I've got up my sleeve. That's all the time I have today. I went a little bit over. Again, if you haven't seen my other trauma video, go ahead and do that now. In the future, I'm going to talk about how you can help your loved ones who have been traumatized, particularly in the early days right after the trauma occurs. Uh, keep what's helpful here. Discard what isn't helpful for you. And if it was helpful, please like, comment, and share because maybe someone else will find it helpful too. Thanks for your time with me today. That's all for now.